On GP3 over the last couple of years, we've seen buoyancy modules on the rises slipping over time. We need to rectify this because if we allow them to keep slipping, the riser will be compromised and we don't want any kind of failure of the riser systems. In previous years, we've taken the approach of changing the risers out, which is very costly and impacts production. This time, we looked at the problem differently and asked if there was a way of stopping the module slipping without changing the riser. An idea was raised by one of the team. Is it possible for us to remove the modules in place and reinstate them in a new place? The team then contacted the supply chain uh, with this brief, whereupon following a tender, uh, we awarded to Subsea Partner based on their conceptual solution. The ROV had to come in and remove the modules. To put this into context of scale, these modules weigh up to two tonnes, which is the size of a small family car. The ROV had to connect onto these modules and disconnect them from the riser before bringing them to the surface. It then had to go back down and remove the inner clamp. This inner clamp holds the module to the riser. It then had to recover this to the surface. The new modules is then lowered to the seabed, clamped in place and installed. There are three primary advantages to performing it this way. The first is on safety. By performing the work with an ROV, diving and construction personnel were not required. The second was on cost. This method saved us over 80% on what it would normally cost to change out a riser. The third saving was on loss of production. By performing it this way, there was no loss of production. We were able to change the buoyancy modules out with continued operation of the riser.